We are living through a transitional, transformative technology known as the internet. It is now finally 25 years old and mature. Everybody has it. Everybody has it all the time and the whole world is getting flipped upside down and you have an opportunity to take a piece of it. The problem is everybody wants to take the whole piece. Everybody's like, Gary, I'm gonna build the next Twitter or Uber or Facebook. Everybody's gonna build a billion dollar company. News alert, you're not building a billion dollar company. How about just building a company that you like and makes you happy? How about just doing something you like every day? Everybody's got to, right? Like, how about that? How about people in here realizing that they have a job that might pay them a little bit more than something else, but they hate it, but they're not willing to live in a more humble home or drive a more humble car, and so they have a miserable job just to pay for shit that they have to impress other people that they don't even like. It has never been easier, I'm, and I don't like using the word easy, but I'm gonna say it. It has never been easier to make $100,000 a year because of this. The problem is everybody thinks you have to make a billion, and the problem is nobody has humility to live a $100,000 lifestyle. I think we have to change the conversation in our society. Not in Southeast Asia, not in Malaysia, not in America. Seven billion people need to change the conversation of what success looks like. It is not to make a billion dollars, it is to actually wake up in the morning and be in a good mood. I can tell you exactly what to do. Figure out how you talk best. Pictures, videos, written word, audio. Post it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. like it's that basic. Judgment, insecurity, lack of confidence, faking it, which then doesn't feel good after a while so you're stuck because you know you're lying. And so my biggest concern is that when people push you to wealth quickly, inevitably you have to fake it. And the reality is that's why I talk about documenting it, not creating it. Just film, talk, talk about trying to figure it out. That's real. Talk about the judgment of others. That's real. But then talk about your expertise, what you want to sell, you know, what, what you have. I deploy self-awareness and self-esteem to reverse engineer myself to put myself in a position to succeed. It is my great hope that I can inspire people to do the same. But it starts with being self-aware and having self-esteem. I will give you the tactics one more time. I think you should post on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. <laughs> like, like, it's the same shit. It works for everybody who does it. The problem is you're not doing it. And if you're doing it, you're so selfish that nobody wants to hear it. You understand? In a world where everybody can put out content, it means you have to be good. The way to be good is to actually provide value. The way to provide value is actually care what they think, not what you think. If you actually thought about your life in a 50 year window or an 80 year window, you would slow down. Everybody wants to succeed so fast because they want to prove something to somebody else. That makes you vulnerable. That makes you vulnerable. When you're producing for more likes, when you're producing for more subscribers, when you're producing for more money, when you're producing for more fame, it makes you vulnerable. Produce to bring value to the other party, so much so that it guilts them into doing business with you. I mean it. You wanna really build something meaningful? Think about producing content in a way that is so valuable that it guilts people to do business with you. That is how I see brands that win, win.